going to be having an introduction to this Canva app and then this is the Android version of the Canva app. Canva so far has been one of the best apps used in designing and then it is very easy to use right so the first thing is we have to check at the bottom part here we have home we have projects we have this plus sign we have templates all right so when you check at the projects here these are when you come to the projects here it shows you the designs you've made so far using the canva you see everything here right so the next thing is when you come here the plus sign that is where when you click on it meaning you have to start a new project or you have to design a new project so by clicking on that place first of all you have to set out your designing platform do you want to design for uh, an Instagram post do you want to desi design for a phone wallpaper do you want to design for your website do you want to design for Insta Instagram reels so a poster all this you need to first set your designing platform okay so when it is a square you, we have the custom size so you click on the custom size the width you would input the width and then you input the height all in puzzles but when then when you check here px means in puzzles when you check there we have inch millimeters we have centimeters right so first of all you need to set up your page if you want to use a square instagram square that's instagram post which is square so you can just click on it then your designing page would be set so what i would like to make you people understand is that in canva when you design it your design is automatically saved unlike the other people which is the the puzzle lab users they have to save their designs after designing right so this is the web page where you are going to be doing your design this particular portion that is the work page right now the web page first of all we have this plus sign here when you click on the plus sign you have designs here perhaps you want to you want to edit and use so they are more or less like templates you just want to edit the text and some one or two things and use it for your design we also have elements here you click on elements when you click on elements we have shapes we have graphics here we have other things here i didn't like to waste much time on the introductory video of course as the course progresses we are going to learn a lot of things and how to use the app so when you want any shape just click on the plus sign then you come to shapes here are shapes when you click on see all you have lines here we have shapes here that is it so I click on a shape here this is how the shape is going to come by so you can edit it you can give the shape a color so you can come to color here give the shape a color you can we have layers here we have more here now with this more you can copy you can paste you can do a lot of editings here with the app right so when you click on the plus sign to we have text here when you want to add the text you have you can add a heading 
you can add a subheading you can add a little bit of body anything here something like this these are text which you can add if you like the text effect if you like the text effect so by clicking on add heading you have the chance to write any text at all you want to add so for instance let's say i'm adding something like graphic graphic designing right so this is a text i've added so you can add a text and by adding a text you can be able to edit the text we have fonts here which you can give to your design sorry your text so we also have text styles the styles here and then subheading body all right so we have font size here you can increase the font size here you have color you can give the text a color any color at all you wish to give the text all right we also have format here you can either underline it you can center align it you can left align it and then all those we have spacing here which we will be using just like i said i wouldn't like to waste my time here this nudge is more or less like positioning button right so i click one more here you can be able to lock up your design you can delete it now it would be necessary for you to always lock up your elements while designing because you wouldn't like to be you wouldn't like to be distracted in the process of designing right so when you click on the plus sign you have you can add images from your gallery you can add images from your gallery so let's say i have a an image here i want to add to my gallery something like this so when you click on the image you click on add to page and then you see it on the designing page this way right so that is it so I click on the plus sign again we also have brand this one is for the pro users so please so we also have upload we have draw you can be able to draw anything at all here if you want to draw right those that are into drawings you can use that we have projects projects are your designing the designs you've made so far here you can also find them here right just like i said i wouldn't like to waste much time on this introductory video because as time goes on we are going to learn more about how to use the canva app now what i would like to talk about here is that when A text or a shape can only be edited only if the shape is being active and what do I mean by if the shape is active now for instance let's say I want to do editing on this man's image I can only do an editing on it only if it is active and by making it active you can just click on it and when you click on it you find all the editing features down here and then you do your editing but then if it is not active like this you didn't find any editing features down here to use so you need to click on it to make it active yes so the next thing i would like to talk about is the layer panel the layers the layer shows how the design is being placed i get it 
now you can find that we have here you can see this attached to this meaning this is the background of which we have other things that came in here or other elements now you can see that with this square it is found at the back of the image meaning it is found on the back of the man because of how it is being arranged in the layers i get in it right so you can see that if i want the shape to rather be in front and then the man will be at the back what i need to do is that i'll come and click and hold this then i move it in front of the man this way and then you can see that the shape is now in front of the man so the layer shows the arrangement of your elements on the designing page are you getting it yes so that is one of the important things here to talk about so let's say you are designing to and then you have a white background but then you don't want to use a white background you want to use a different color so you can just click on it on the background any space on the background then you click on what color when you click on color you can change your background color to any color at all you did like to use in your designing process right so that is it for that so the next thing is we have something here which is the undo we have some icons here which is the undo the redo you did something and you want to you want it to be undone just click on the undo button and then that will be done for you so that is it just like i said i wouldn't like to waste my time on this video we would get to learn more when when we start with the practicals so please just cool down we are going to master this app very well thank you very much this video is brought to you by dewpoint graphics and sponsored by dewpoint graphics hub so stay tuned in the course we are going to be learning great things here i'll see you in the next video